Hi, it's Lance Yolanda, Federal Chief of PCMag.com. I'm here at CES 2011 on the show floor, checking out something really incredible. I'm here with Colin Angle. This is Colin Angle. He's the CEO, co-founder of iRobot. They make that uh, Roomba device. I'm sure you remember that. That is a robot vacuum. They also have something called Scuba 230. That's a, that's a flo robotic floor mop, basically. You can go around the toilet. But now they're showing something called Eva, and this is sort of like the future of mobile robotics. So, Colin, uh, I want you to explain a little bit what we have here, why this is special. Sure. Well, Eva is a practical mobility platform, so that if you have something you want to move around, we've built a robot platform that can do it. You can see most interestingly, it has a pad on the head. This is That's an the iPad. iPad. That's the iPad, so that we've made it so that if you can program an iPad, can program a robot. This robot's uh, designed with a very sophisticated navigation system so that you can drive it around your home or drive it around your office. It'll make a map. It'll correlate that map to a uh, something you would recognize as a map, and you can tap on your iPad. The robot will go there. Or the robot so, so this has this has a ton of sensors. You told me about. Uh, it's got sonar. It's got uh, radar, uh, laser. Yep. Uh, it can build this incredible map, but it also has something that a lot of people maybe at home might recognize. It has the same sensor technology as the Xbox Kinect device, you know, that thing where you control games? Well, it's made by PrimeSense. I met with them last year, and they have a technology that, that basically shoots like pixels into space almost to create a grid and a depth map. So all of this together kind of creates like a field around Ava. Right, so the, the robot has a whole array of sensors so that if I come up to it, the robot knows. The robot's not going to drive into a table. If my kid comes over and starts playing with it, the robot will be aware of that and, and uh, do the right thing. So it's very safe and it understands its environment. So so why would I have a robot like this? You know, I know well, if you were, <coughs> one application is remote presence. Say that you wanted to uh, go somewhere or be somewhere and you couldn't be there. This robot yeah. would give the, you the ability to have a physical presence, drive into a meeting uh, back in Boston here in Las Vegas, I have to go to a meeting, drive into that meeting, drive into somebody's office, have a conversation, follow them into the lab to see what was going on. It would give me a practical presence. And, and I'm thinking that I'd like to see this thing in my offices in New York because I can never make all of my meetings. So this guy, you know, we're hoping to see lots of different people develop. I know it can take iPads, it can take Android devices, uh, and they're really going to build the interface for this thing. So kind of the sky's the limit for, for Ava. And uh, Colin, thanks for explaining it to us. It's very exciting stuff. You know how I love robots. This is Lance Yolov, Energy from PCMag.com, signing off from CES.